Welcome to Treatment Algorithms. Today, we will be discussing dengue fever, which has become a growing global health crisis affecting over 100 million people each year. In India alone, tens of thousands of cases are reported annually, with thousands of deaths as a grim reminder of the dangers this mosquito-borne illness poses. Today, we'll dive into how to assess, classify, and treat this disease based on trusted guidelines from the WHO and CDC. First, let's look at how to suspect dengue fever in a patient. If the patient presents with acute sergrylitis, headache, vitro orbital pain, that is pain behind the eyes, joint and muscle pain, rashes, leukopenia, dromocytopenia, combined with patient history, are strong indicators of dengue fever. To confirm the diagnosis, you should conduct an NS1 antigen test within the first five days of the illness. Use IgM, IgG antibody test after 5 days. Opt for PCR, polymerized chain reaction, when necessary to detect the virus. Dengue can be classified into three categories. Dengue fever, dengue hemorrhagic fever, and dengue shock syndrome. Dengue fever usually presents with mild symptoms and no warning signs. Dengue hemorrhagic fever is more severe with features like hemorrhagic manifestations, thrombocytopenia, and plasma leakage. Dengue shock syndrome is a critical condition and is characterized by hypotension and narrow pulse pressure. Coming to treatment for dengue fever. For mild dengue fever, encourage rest and hydration, monitor the patient's platelet count and hematocrit, use symptomatic treatment including analgesics, antipyretics and antiemetics to control nausea, follow up every 24 to 48 hours to monitor progression. Coming to moderate to severe dengue. Hospitalization is required here. Use crystalloids like normal saline or ringolactate. For severe plasma leakage, use colloids like dextran or starch. Closely monitor vital signs, lethal count, and hematocrit. Blood transfusion is recommended if hemoglobin drops below 7 gram per deciliter or if there is severe bleeding. In case of shock, use vasopressors like dopamine or norepinephrine along with continuous fluid resuscitation. Provide supportive care like oxygen therapy and respiratory support if needed. Constantly monitor for complications such as hemorrhage and organ impairment. It is essential to monitor patients for warning signs as these signs indicate the need for immediate medical intervention. This includes severe abdominal pain, persistent vomiting, fluid accumulation, mucosal bleeding, lethargy or confusion, decreased platelet count, hepatomegaly and increased hematocrit. Finally, a patient can be discharged if he or she meets the following criteria. Absence of fever for at least 24 hours without the use of antipyretic drugs. Lethal come greater than 50,000. Return of appetite. Adequate urine output. Visible clinical improvement. Minimum of two to three days after recovery from shock. No respiratory distress from pleural effusion or ascites. Managing dengue fever requires timely diagnosis, monitoring, following WHO and CDC guidelines, and the proper classification for effective treatment. Remember, prevention and early intervention save lives. That's the treatment algorithm for dengue. I hope this breakdown was helpful. For more medical insights, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay informed and stay healthy.